Many, many things are going on in many people's heart. What I'm passing through, what I'm going through, does it mean the God of this commission is not seeing me? But I attend service every Thursday and Sunday. Many things go on, many of us heart. But that will not, that will not dislodge Jesus from his strong. That will not make you to step down to come and answer you the way you want. He has his time and he has his own season. Jesus has his time and he has his own season of manifestation. So this journey to the Lord, we just need to behave as blind man plays, as a blind man that has been at the roadside for years. But the day his own moment come, the day that Jesus said, heaven said this is our time. No one could have stopped blind man me. No one. So the journey to the cross is like it's like blind, but not you are not blind. Because even Jesus himself, there was one thing in his heart that it keep on motivating me that someday they will come back for me. That was Jesus' intention. That's why he did not reply for any things he was going through. He did not reply, he did not condemn, he did not regret. Instead, he was constantly derived joy for what he was going through. The persecution, the humiliation, the name calling, the agitation. He kept one instinct in him that they would turn and come back to me. No matter what is happening to me now, I will not reply. That's why he did not condemn. Jesus did not condemn. But he came to save who? He came to save sinners. That's why he, did not, he, does not, he, does, he cannot condemn you. Eh? No matter what you are doing, he came to save sinners. But he hates sin. You are getting me? So if you are continuously sinning, be careful that he loves sinners, but he hates sin. You may not, you may not, so don't take it as a, as a guarantee. You may not obtain that mercy because there were many blind but at the roadside. But it was just, he was the only one that heaven approved. So then join it, if you begin to calculate God, I'm paying my tithe, you shall man of my tithe. And then when you have that instinct in you, you are trying to, at the same side, you are trying to bargain with God. You will stay here until you will expire to other place. This journey to the cross is like you are blind, but you are not blind. You are like a fool, but you are not a fool. You are like an illiterate, but you are so intelligent. Stay under that spirit you have. Spirit you have. Is seen is seen in your action. In your action. Stay under that spirit you have. Spirit you have. Is seen. In your, in your action, put it like that on your paper. That's the message of today. Spirit you have is seen in your action. Which spirit? Which spirit? Spirit you have is seen in your action. Which spirit? Yes. That's how I'm going to get my hands. Yeah. You see, please tell us that your conscience it is only your action. Thank you. Spirit you have is seen in your action. Okay, let me call. Spirit you have, it is not your spirit. Spirit you have, it is not the spirit of you, it's not human. The spirit that we see in action, either of Satan or of God. The spirit means that 
When a spirit is operating in you, it is not your spirit. <laughs> your own spirit, your own spirit, his own work is to sustain you for strength. Your own spirit, his own work is to sustain you for strength. The one operating now in action, when people see it, they will know if you are for God or you are of Satan. Spirit you have is seen in action. Your own spirit is not stronger than the spirit of Satan. Spirit, our spirit is not stronger than the spirit of God. So the spirit that is at work in our life, it's not our spirit. Our spirit is very weak. A person must represent a spirit either from light or from the dark. A, a person must represent a spirit. What is like that? We are the foundation of our life. But we must represent a beauty. We must represent a being. Either darkness or light. Okay, good example. Judas Iscariot that said the master. Where was his own spirit? You understand what I'm saying? Where was the spirit of Judas? Explain to me now. You see that now? You see that his own spirit was not enough to resist that voice. To resist the spirit of of Satan. So, it was written that someone among Jesus' crew will betray Jesus. So, someone somewhere must, it's not if it, I'm telling you that it's a must, must represent light or dark. So, as you are also here to know that you are a Christian, you will identify yourself in your actions. If you claim that you are a follower of Jesus, you will identify genuinely yourself in your action. Spirit you have is seen in what? Action. So, the spirit, when I say spirit you have, I mean the spirit you possess. It will be seen in action. Your own spirit cannot. Your own spirit only sustain you. Do you, you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, you don't understand. So that is it. That's where my message had God tried to enlighten me with it. That you have your spirit as a human, but it's very weak. Very weak. Our spirit now is very weak. It's only to sustain us. The moment that evil come, or when that light come, you, 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 will become a, you will become an agent of that light or darkness. Like me and I, if I'm darkness, it will be difficult. If you die with evil spirit, you are going to hell. The insight of this gospel. So if you die with evil spirit, you are going to hell fire. But you can be a follower of Jesus, you can die in sickness, you are going to heaven. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? If you die with sickness, whereas you are a follower of Jesus, a genuine one, you are going to heaven. Because this is what? Like his message, one can be sick and be a friend of God. One can be poor and be a child of God. So if you die in that poverty, whether you are a child of God, you are going to heaven. But if you die, whether you are possessed with evil spirit, you are going to hell. Because Satan has already built his house in you. You are already his agent. So, for you not to receive that freedom, you need someone that has 
an outstanding grace, anointing, a man of God that has an outstanding to pray for you now, to remove you from that cage, for you now to become a follower of Jesus. Go to the book of Romans, chapter 1, from verse 28 to 32. Your own good and precious time will take from verse 1 to the end. Romans 1, verse 28 to 32. I believe you have to keep that message in heart. 28. Furthermore, just as they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, so God gave them over to a deprived mind so that they do what ought not to be done. So that they do what ought not to be done. They have become filled with every kind of wickedness. Get it clear, my message title. They have become filled with every kind of wickedness, evil, greed, and depravity. They are full of envy, murder, strife, dissent, and malice. They are gossip, dirty, slanders, God haters, insolent, arrogant, and boastful. They even ways of doing evil. They disobey their parents. Test one. They have no understanding, no fidelity, no love, no mercy. Test two, the last today. Although they know God's righteous decree that those who do such things deserve death. They not only continue to do these very things, but also approve of those who practice them. And then when you see such person that in that is what we have just read now, what what, what do you what would be a confession? He belongs where? <laughs> he, he chose to give them a deprived mind. What the mean of deprived mind? Means that everyone has legal right, legal right of his action. Means that everyone has legal right of whatever you do. You are really safe. You are really safe. Is not known by your meditation. Your reserve is not known by your weight. Listen to me. Your real way is not known by your meditation. Everyone can meditate, but we don't know what you are meditating. We don't know the outcome of your meditation, but everyone can meditate. But we don't know the outcome of your meditation. Everyone can confess, but we don't know the outcome of that confession. Either it's for evil or for good. Are you getting me? That's why you see the Bible says what? He, he, gave, he gave the word a deprived mind, not a collective mind. He did not generalize our mind. <laughs> that is gospel. So that whatever you will do, you will be count accountable of it. It will be of your name, not of their name. It would be of your what? Of your name. Furthermore, just as they did not think, you get it very well? Means that what? Before you perform an action, you must rethink, you must think, turn it over in your heart before you perform. Because it is, when you go to court, exhibit is not your word. Exhibit, they are not your word. <laughs> and you must also be very careful when you stand before the judge. Because if you say something today, they will send you, the, the purpose they are keeping you in a waiting trial is <laughs> for you to be, <laughs> you, must be, you must be very vigilant. There are some people, they committed an act. They, just because they have that mind, they have that heart of constructive, 
to construct a positive installation. They come out of it when they cause that act. Before the judge. You bring them 1,000 times before the judge, they will say the same thing that they said yesterday. So there is no regret in our action. Before God. There is no regret. That's why he said he allowed us not to have a collective mind. He did not generalize our mind. He made everyone to operate individually. If me, Benjamin, whatever I'm doing here, this is going for 12 years on this commission. If I'm fake, someday you will see my nakedness. someone genuineness of his legacy. You see someone genuineness of his legacy, it is when the person is not alive. The legacy continues. There are many of your family members, many of your friends, whatever they were doing, what they were doing when they were still alive, it was going smoothly. It was going okay. But if you look at it now very keenly, carefully, he has vanished. He has disappeared. The foundation is very important. That's why you see, Bible says what? Furthermore, just as they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, neither what? God is not very quick in confession. The Spirit of God is not very quick in voicing. So, you are accountable of your act. That's why you see, before me standing before you, talking to you, if I'm prophesying to you now, and then you try to resist or to contradict, I will go more deeper. The Spirit of God will carry me go more. He will carry me very deep. And I will come back for something that now, your conscience and your spirit will not reject it. There's a force from a genuine man of God where there's a force behind his word. That force, you cannot resist that force. That is the Holy Spirit. Spirit you have is seen in your action. <laughs> you, so you can examine me now for the past, going to 12 years now. Spirit Benjamin possess. And you know some of your ministers of God that you have been with them. You are all, you see their character, their ways, the way they operate. Then you have not discovered Benjamin. You say, no, this guy is different. This young guy sees something unique in him. My brother and sisters in Christ, before you speak, make sure you have already analyzed it in your heart. Make sure you have edited it in your heart. When there is crisis, you can even kill your mother without knowing it. After that, you will regret. So let us all the time rethink our thought before we act. Let all the time we meditate before we, we practice. Because Christ here, he said what? Furthermore, just as they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, so God gave them over to a deprived mind so that they do what ought not to be done. You see, when you are not stable, you can do what you are not prepared to do. 29. They have become filled with every kind of wickedness, evil, greed, depravity. They are full of envy, murder, strife, dissent, malice. They are gossip. When you see someone like that, what do you expect? He belongs where? That is not your spirit operating in you. When you see such a person with such a character, it is not his spirit. Our spirit is very small. But very gentle. Man's spirit is very small, very kind. Man's spirit is very small, full of sympathy, humble, but it's very weak. Are you getting it? I say man's spirit is very small, gentle, kindness, humble, but it's very weak. That's why you cannot compare a child that is being delivered in the Western continent there, and the child is delivered in Africa. All they have the same spirit, they know 
they say strength. That child is full of what? Selena, Mer, Benier, Alienation, three more, two more, three more, four more. You already start one, Cassandra Royal is giving you. You have strength. So our spirit, please, it's a lecture that you need to be very, you need to be very attentive. Our own spirit as human is not wicked. Are you understanding me? Yes, sir. Why? Why our spirit not wicked? Eh? Because it is derived from God's spirit. God made God in His image and His life. Clap for Him. <laughs> so, I want you to understand this. So, you will not, you, this is the beginning of this year. You will stand like Rana now. Today, you will not like Rana. Gossiper, evil spirit. Greedy, evil spirit. Malice, evil spirit. We say you are evil. It may be the things that hinders you. It may 
be the things that makes your prayer not to reach heaven. As I say in my message, spirit you have is seen in your action. Are you, are you coming to understand the message title now? Spirit you have is seen in your world. Means that the spirit you, you originally have, it is not your spirit that is operating in you. Either the spirit of God is operating in you, or the spirit of Satan is operating in you. But brother, can you stop drinking? I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, mind your business. And you see the way it's, 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 it's mis, you are misbehaving. You drink, you come and, and you, you nasty the compound. You nasty your home. You nasty your bedroom. You nasty your sitting room. You nasty friend. You vomit on your wife. You think that if you are drinking and then you go to intercourse with your wife, you give her to who? Drunk her! You think if you smoke, you smoke, you smoke, and then you in the night you meet your, your, your wife or you meet your husband, what are you expecting? You 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 meet blood is thicker than water. You use rubbish tin and suffocate your blood. <laughs> The day you accepted Jesus in Mazan Church Nation and compared with the one that you, you give back to them before you accept Jesus, it's still different nature. You think that you want to do your things? And you think that you will not affect your children? It is blood! It is your blood! When you give back to your child, okay, you give back to your child now, you give the flow on your side. You start picking, picking the flow on your side. Mommy, my, 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 my papa. Huh? Papa. Why Papa? Because the Papa you blow trumpet, Mommy. Mommy you blow a borrow blow. You borrow Papa for the devil, Mommy. Papa you blow trumpet, Mommy. Mommy That's why you look in any family, you will see a child that either you will take one child, either you will take the mother, the other child will take the father. And if you look, most of children that takes mother, most of most of them they are, they are very they are very very simple. They shepherd others. This my mother may be like the mother that she she was a prostitute. They can also be that same mother. Most time it's not even the mother. Most time it's not even the mother that she's a prostitute. It's even the father. The highest prostitution in this world is men. You know that? Let me hear from better men today. I said they will be highest. Our whole spirit is only there to invite other evil spirit or Holy Spirit. That is our whole spirit to operate because when you are two, you are much stronger. But when you are solo, you are one. You are weak. The weakest spirit is man's spirit, human spirit. So our whole spirit to invite. Either you are inviting Holy Spirit, either you are inviting Jesus, or you are inviting Satan, or evil spirit in your life. And then Jesus energizes our strength to let us to keep on believing God's word. His word will grow. And have influence, dominion over our heart as we stick to trust and believe Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name we worship. Thank you.